Good afternoon, everybody. Christian here today. I have a prophetic word to share with you. It has been, um, I don't know, maybe almost a month since I've had anything to share with you, and so I haven't shared anything. I, I don't feel making videos just to say, for the sake of making videos is, is, is good practice. I like to wait until the Lord gives me something concrete that I can share with you. I've had a few little details here and there that I, I could have made a video on, but they weren't, they weren't big enough. They weren't important enough, I guess. Um, and so I thought, no, I'll wait. And I was talking to God about it, I think, yesterday, and I was just telling him, you know, it's been a while since I've made a video that has repercussions on, you know, my viewership and so forth and so on. But I'm going to wait until you give me a word. I'm not trying not to do, you know, what you want me to do. Just you haven't given me anything, and so I'm just, I'm just waiting. And as long as that takes is how long it takes. Well, last night I had this dream the Lord gave me. And it's something that is big enough that I can share with you. So, I'm going to tell you the dream, and as I had it, as I recall it, I don't remember every detail, I'll just share with you what I recall, and then I will give you the interpretation that the Lord has given me through the Holy Spirit. So, this is the dream. In the dream, I start off, and I see that I'm in a house, and I know this house is not mine, uh, but I live there, and this house is, it belongs to an old man, and I see in the dream, and his wife, and I don't know the detail, I just know that this old man and his wife, they, they have leveraged one or more of their assets to help me in this dream. They're, they've given me a place to live, both myself and, and my family. And in this house where I live, I, I'm very grateful, I'm, I'm thankful that they've taken the, the initiative and the time to do this. Uh, they didn't have to do that, put themselves out for my benefit. And I know that they have leveraged either their home or, or their business or, or something to benefit me, give me a place to live. And uh, I'm getting ready to go to work with this man or, or I go to work for this man or something. I don't know. That's one of those details I, I just don't recall so well in the dream. But I just know this is the field and this is the, the situation that I find myself in in this dream. And as we're walking about in this home, the old man stops me and he says, hey, you know, it's the time for a big lottery drawing. You know, how, do you have a ticket? Now, I, I'm immediately reminded, I, I know that God has spoken a prophetic word of my life regarding the lottery. And I know that one day that will be, and, and I'm, I have no problem with that. I just know it, it's it's down the road, so now it's not, it's not now. But the old man said, no, 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 there's one, there's one now. And so I, I reach in my pocket and I pull out of my pocket a lottery ticket. And the lottery ticket is folded in half and I unfold it in my hand and I look at it and every single number that I look at, I know is the number for the lottery. And I know that I have just won the lottery, the largest lottery ever, as far as I know remember in the dream. So I share it with the old man, I show it to him and he is ecstatic, he is overjoyed. And he's excited for me. And then I immediately have this feeling in me, in my heart, and in my mind. That I want to bless this old man and his, his wife. Because they have gone above and beyond to benefit me, to help me and my family during this time. I want to repay that in some way. I want to, I want to bless them now. But I, I don't know how just yet. I, I don't see the opportunity. And then my wife comes into the home. I don't tell her initially about this huge winning that I have just won the lottery. I don't say anything for a little while. And then I tell her. And then I see uh, my son and uh, my wife and I were, I mean, we were just won the lottery. So we're thinking about where to move, or, you know, go buy our own house. And it becomes uh, knowledge in my mind that the old man and his wife they are looking to sell their home, but they haven't had a buyer yet. And it's a nice home, um, but I am also aware that I am supposed to live in a particular place that God had told me before, I want you to move here. And I needed to make sure that I made that my highest priority. So again, I didn't say anything to the old man or his wife because I didn't know exactly where this place was, whether it was the place that God had told me to go to or whether it wasn't. So I, I again said nothing. But I was still thinking, how do I bless this, this couple? Then I see I'm in this house and I turn around the corner and I don't know if it's the same house or a different house, but I've come around the corner and I see my sister seated in a recliner 
and she's facing a television set. And I come up behind her on her side to tell her, hey, look, look what happened. I mean, God has blessed me in this thing. And she shushes me very quietly, or very loud, and says, shush, I'm trying to listen to see if I won the lottery. And I, you know, turn and walk away. Then there's a part in the, the very end of this dream that I recall. I'm outside this old man and his uh, wife's house. And uh, my, my family's there, his family's there. And, and we're outside in, on his driveway. It's like dirt. And uh, the old man bends down. He's a distance away from me. He bends down and he picks up a couple of coins. I believe it was a quarter and a dime. And he's very excited about it. And he says, I've just found a quarter and a dime. And I immediately say, I just lost a quarter. And he puts it in my hand immediately. And I said, no, 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 sir, it was a joke. And uh, this, I, I didn't lose a quarter. And so I look at the quarter in my hand. I said, sir, that's not even a quarter. This is a very, very old coin. You should take it to have someone look at it and see what its value is. It could be worth a lot. And that was the uh, end of the dream. So this is what I know about this dream. This is what the Holy Spirit has revealed to me. In the beginning of this dream, uh, the, the old man and his wife, they represent people who have... Uh, first, let me start off by saying there's a blessing that God has spoken over your life, something big and um, something dramatic. And, and you believe it, but you, you think it's further out. God says it's now. It's time for its uh, manifestation is now. I know you, you see no evidence of it right now. God says it's going to unfold right in front of you. And it will be exactly word for word, what God said it would be. You will reveal it to those who have been um, a blessing to you, those who have helped you along this, this time, and they will rejoice with you. And God will immediately put it in your heart to bless those people. But you won't be foolish about it. You won't just jump to anything. You, you wait and you look for the opportunity that God sets in front of you. You will also know that you will have the ability to move, but you will make it a priority that you do exactly what God told you to do. That will be your utmost. Your, the, the highest calling for you is to make sure that you maintain that walk with the Lord. What He told you to do, you will do. Um, regarding my sister in the dream, and she shushed me, the Lord was showing, He said, those who shushed you, who wouldn't listen, they will not be blessed to the degree that you are blessed. Um, the Lord also showed me that in the situation where the old man finds the coin, uh, he brings it to the prophet, and the prophet uh, gives him instruction and uh, revelation and shows him that there wasn't a quarter he had found, uh, or a quarter and dime, but the quarter wasn't a quarter. It was some other um, uh, hidden treasure that the Lord had revealed to him, and it's very old, and it has a greater value than, than was currently uh, or initially perceived, and the instruction by the prophet will allow that, that old man to find a blessing that God has just for him.